So here I have another yacht, yacht ornament that I made with a stepper motor and a piece of flashing bent to the shape of an airfoil and I attached two LEDs at each end and it was difficult to um, get something like this to light because it needs high RPM to do that. At first I attached something like this to the motor but it was turning but it was turning not turning fast enough so the LED never did light it so I'm trying this aluminum blade setup and uh, it finally had enough RPM to like the LEDs that are attached to the aluminum blades of course you have to be careful if you're doing this you have to secure your aluminum blades otherwise they can fly off and hurt someone there's a slight bit of vibration there at the hub there because the motor is not well balanced uh, I drilled a small hole in the wooden dial and I just stuck the I just stuck the uh, motor in there so it's not well balanced but I think it is spinning at a high enough RPM so it can light so theoretically if you put this outside and uh, you attach a tail and a pivot it can be a real yacht ornament if you get that kind of wind I got this idea of the stepper motor from uh, Rich Allen. His was much better because he was using different kinds of color lights and it worked very well. Maybe it was because the motor he was using. I'm just using what I have, just a couple of uh, blue LEDs you attach your blades to them they have to spin very fast they have to spin very fast to light up the LEDs it's not easy to light them up so when you see people hand cranking something and something lights lights up you know, or give power well, when you put them outside, they really have to turn fast to generate any kind of power. This is basically a two-phase generator or alternator. Actually, it is an alternator because the uh, electricity is not rectified. So, maybe I can attach more LEDs to them because now I have the, the right RPM for it. Here is the stepper motor that I'm using for this wind ornament. You can see it's very thin. It's almost like a pancake-like shape. So what I did was I just drill a small hole in the dowel here and I just drove the motor gear inside. It's probably not that secure but I'm just testing it for now to see how well it, it works. Because it's a small motor so it's not going to have a lot of output 